trying to avoid being Odell Beckham all the time with the Browns. In other words, all Odell all the time. But of course, that seems to be what happens when you add the star and charismatic receiver to your roster from the New York Giants. Found it interesting that at the recent meetings, the owners' meetings in Phoenix, one of the Giants owners mentioned he was kind of reluctant to trade Beckham. Then later on, he gave another interview where he said, well, you know, I want to support my coaches. I mean, Beckham is a phenomenal talent. I will say he's the most gifted receiver the Browns have had since they came back in 99. I actually wrote that just in a passing in one column. A guy wrote me about, what about Josh Gordon? What about Josh Gordon? Well, part of being gifted and being good is being available. You got to be on the field. Josh Gordon played one full season, and then, you know, it, basically he's been suspended for far more games than he ever played. Yeah, he was gifted, but you got to be out there some. And that is a concern. My biggest concern with Beckham, Beckham isn't so much how uh, uh, he seems to get into a quarterback. So it could be uh, volcanic at times. He's missed 16 of the last 32 games. So I hope when the Browns bring him in in April, they really sit down with the trainers they look at that ankle. That ankle cost him 12 games in 2017. They look at his quad muscles, which in 2018 he missed four games because of it, and come up with a real program so that this guy stays healthy. That's, I think, going to be the big issue with Beckham, not this, you get enough passes from Baker Mayfield. you got to have him on the field. But I have to admit, when you think about Beckham on this side of the line, Jarvis Landry over here, and you know maybe Antonio Callaway is another receiver, or one of my favorite guys, Richard Higgins. You know the Browns have some people to throw the ball to. So in terms of the talent coming in, and you have to add Olivier Vernon to that list, the defensive end that the Browns have brought in, Olivier Vernon, pass rusher, part of the Kevin Zeitler trade, also from New York. I mean, they have really upgraded the roster. But there's also a thing about Vernon. Last two years, he's missed nine games with ankle problems. So once again, look at this guy, just like Odell Beckham, see if you can get them to stay healthy and be on the field. And by the way, the last couple of years, for the most part, the Browns have done a pretty good job of keeping their key players healthy. When they brought in a guy named J.C. Treader, their center from Green Bay a few years ago, he came in with a kind of an injury history, what I just talked about, sort of missing a lot of games. Well, he's been able to stay on the field for the Browns. He played much of last year with a bad ankle, but they were able to keep him on the field for games. So actually, it's kind of a boring thesis because people want to hear, oh, Odell's going to rip up the locker room because he's so demanding of the ball, or Baker Mayfield won't be able to ha handle it, or even though Jarvis Landry and Odell are big buddies from LSU, but they're going to get jealous of each other, who's ever not getting the ball, I'm going to go something basic. If that trade, the big trade they made with the Giants, Kevin Zeitler, Jabril Peppers, a couple of draft picks for Beckham and Vernon, if that deal really is to work out for the Browns, they just need their guys coming here to stay healthy. <laughs>